Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be for you. I am Tobat. This is my new way of streaming content. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I was just appalled this morning when I went on the YouTube stream and Salty Crackers video popped up of uh, CNN Tonight. They were talking about the Sounds of Freedom movie. I have the clip here pulled up. We're going to watch it together. Anyway, um, let's see what they have to say here on CNN about the movie, The Sounds of Freedom, which was number one at the box office, or so I've been told. And you seem pretty familiar with him because he doesn't really hide his association with this real wild plot uh, that that involves, you know, drinking the blood of children and things like that. Okay. So you see what they did there? They went straight to QAnon on the screen and started talking about drinking the blood of children. You know, I haven't seen the movie. I'm not sure what it covers, but they, as fast as possible, go as far out as possible to make the film look bad. They want to they wanna push a narrative. That's what I'm saying. But these films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at QAnon concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites and only people like Tim Ballard and only people like Jim Caviezel and by extension, only people like the ticket buyer can help bring these trafficking rings down. So there's a very participatory element. Okay. These type of films are not created out of fear. Child trafficking is a huge problem. It's a problem at our southern border. It's a problem all over the world and in our country. Children are taken for perverted, nasty things that you couldn't even imagine. Some of you may, because you know. You might be in law enforcement. You might be ex-law enforcement. You might be ex-military. You might have seen things that you wish you would never see. But it's very real. It's not a narrative. It's not false. It happens. So let's, see, let's see what Salty has to say. Well, you heard it from a Rothschild, so you know it's true. You stupid QAnon racist conspiracy terrorist maggots. The highest echelons of power are not full of kid fuckers. Don't go watch this movie. Don't go watch this movie. That's exactly what they're saying. They don't want the truth to come out. For some reason, they're covering for people. If you get your hands on the list of who went to Epstein Island, you might be surprised. It's frustrating, to say the least, that Epstein Island was real. Jelaine Maxwell was real. She's in jail. There was a client list that we have been unable to see. Um, and if a client list exists, then the clients were there for something. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Be safe. This is Tobat. Kiss my ass goodbye.